Welcome to a Higher Education Mobile Moment. In my interview with Christy Gaddis, Executive Director for Student Services at Yakin County Schools, she described some of the resources that help her identify post-secondary ready students. We had the College Board, the College Board came out and trained us, our guidance counselors last year, at the beginning of the year, um, on the PSAT and what that could provide for them. And so them being trained and knowing how to really read those reports mm -hmm. really helped us because it shows us like, okay, so this child has the, and they might be a C child. They might not be showing it because they're just not into school and they're not, mm -hmm. even they might be just skirting by and then we haven't identified them. But if they do well on that test in certain areas, it can show you how well they will do on the, um, the actual, ACT. AP and the ACT and well yeah and SAT I mean it just depends we got so many different ones but it was actually the PSAT that that this was but it actually can show you how well they would do on the AP too mm -hmm. so um, they were able to dive into that and then they can identify students to start taking AP courses and you know build that relationship with them and try to push them to do that because kids that never thought about going to college that's how you identify them right because you're like look you can do this already think yeah. about what you can do if you take this class and then you keep building on that you're going to get into the school you want to get into in this area because you're so strong in this area whether it be science or you know math or wherever so we hope you enjoyed this higher education works mobile moment see you next time